I came up with today's idea accidentally, but I've been doing it for so long and it's working too well to keep it to myself. But don't expect anything sophisticated. On the contrary, it's pretty basic and I guess that's why I like it. Remember that the other day I was complaining about the lack of a notes list in Obsidian? Well, that's something that's been bothering me since the very beginning of my Obsidian journey. Uh, some of you even suggested the file tree alternative plugin. It's a good plugin, but it's not exactly what I was looking for. It, it didn't work for me. So I'm still doing what I was doing, uh, what I have been doing for, for a while now. And that's what inspired me to create this, this new workflow. Here, let me show you. Before I start, just a quick message for those of you arriving now. This is my tests account. It's the one I use to record the videos. And that's why it's usually pretty messy. Okay. And by the way, <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to the channel. This is how I used to do things in the past. So I would have something like this YouTube and then a subfolder for ideas and then a published uh, fold subfolder. Once the video was published, I would move that node to the published subfolder. But as you can see, the first problem here is that I have to open three folders to add a, a, an idea. I have to go to creator, then YouTube, and then ideas. In fact, two, because I can right click here, right? But you got the point. Uh, and the other problem is that ideas and published is related to YouTube or an article, but it, it, I cannot replicate this workflow. I cannot use it. Uh, I don't know if I'm building something, I have an idea and then I build. I'm not, it's not published, it's built. <laughs> if I'm working with a client and that client and I finish the work with that client, it's not published, it's done, it's complete. So, like I said, everything started when I began looking for better ways to organize my lists. And let's use the blog here as an example. What I started doing was creating subfolders for each year because now I can click here and the list is a little shorter. It's still long, but it's not enormous like a published list would be here. This list here, imagine if I had, again, this is just a uh, the account I'm using to produce the videos. But imagine if I had all my published videos here, this would be a gigantic list. So this makes the list a little less <laughs> longer. And it gives me the sense of chronology that uh, Evernote lists uh, have. I was already pretty happy with the peace of mind that this brought me. And here's how the click moment happened. For some reason, when I created this, I didn't add the ideas folder. And I had this idea that I, I needed to write down. So I right click it here and and thought, I'm, I'm just going to add this idea here. And then in the future, I'll, I'll create that folder. And this is it. <laughs> this is the click moment. This is the solution. I don't need an ideas folder. The ideas can be inside the blog subfolder or the YouTube subfolder like this one. And when that video is recorded or that article is published, all I have to do is move it to the ear sub folder. This is what I like. I'm constantly trying to make uh, my workflows uh, simpler. I, I, I'm constantly trying to remove friction, complications. And this is something that I can use anywhere. It will give me the peace of mind of having a chronology, the ears, making the lists shorter. And at the same time, it will create uh, the concept 
of a backlog, a place where I can add ideas or things that are happening right now. And because I already have this natural space for the backlog and uh, the subfolders, the ears to archive the the files that are the 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 work that is completed done i don't need the kanban board anymore <laughs> one more simplification uh, one less complication in the system less friction well i told you it was basic but i would love to know what you think and i hope it inspires you maybe you're you're not using something like this but maybe that will inspire you to create your own workflow in a way that works uh better for you if this was helpful i'd appreciate a thumbs up and if you want to help even more please consider joining my patreon becoming a youtube member or buying me a coffee I love coffee. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon.